Hey guys, Kevin Grell here with Alien Rides. Uh, let me show you a little project I've been working on. I have a background in motocross, so I know how to ride these things pretty well. Um, I had the opportunity to pick this bike up uh, pretty damn cheap, less than $1,000. Blown motor, 250 2016. Uh, threw some uh, 2020 plastics on, uh, just because I like the modern look. Um, so, end up getting a QS138. This is a 3,000 watt continuous motor. You can push 20 to 30,000 watts through here. And if you're not know the conversion, it's 750 watts is the horsepower. So if you're pushing 30,000 watts, you're pushing 30, upper 30s in the horsepower. Anyways, um, start off with a 20 series pack. That's what this is right here. I added on eight more series. So there's 20 series with 13 cells in parallel. And so theoretically, that's good for well over 500 amps, so well over 60,000 uh, watts if I really wanted to, but this motor can't do that. This motor is just going to go, <coughs> whatever. So I'm going to ask for 25,000 watts max. So wasn't too much uh, work. Uh, so the battery comes out, six gauge wires, way too small of a connector right here, but guess what? This motor doesn't request over 250, 300 amps at uh, any type of speed, so I don't really care. It's got a three shul um, VESC. The VESC is good for a thousand phase amps, 500 battery amps, which I'm not even using. There's a smart BMS in here, so the cells equalize even while I'm sleeping. And this thing, it rips. Um, feels like a 450 motocross bike, right? So the difference between this and like a 250 or 450 motocross bike, this thing will pull way quicker, way quicker, way quicker off the line, all the way up into about 30, 40 miles an hour. Then it needs a shift of gear. So right now I have it geared for about 50 miles an hour on 28 series, that's 117 volts. But um, I'm keeping the gear in as motocross. So I'm 50 miles an hour, full speed on the street. But I can tune up what's called field weakening, and that's where some magic voodoo happens. And you can get an extra 20%, 30% RPM with a little formula called a field weakening. So I'm getting about 63 miles an hour with this setup. If I want, this is the equivalent. I'm running a 428 chain. That's just because that's what comes with here, 428 versus 520. 520 is a little bit bigger here, right? So 428, I might be maxing out based on my power, but I'm gonna run it until it breaks. But anyways, I'm running a 65, which is equivalent to about a, God, what is it? Like a 51 when the pitch is different. So the diameter of the rear, 65 is about the equivalent of 50 tooth if it's your 520 chain. Uh, I think I'm running a 14 up here, which is equivalent of like a 12 on 520 or 13. So not really much I had to do. I still haven't uh, made proper spacers here. These are 3D printed. Um, all my support is happening very simply. Let's get down under here. So here's my support, just some aluminum cut on the table saw, 3D printed spacer. So when I'm sandwiching this, it bends the frame and stops. Well, eventually if it changes the metal, but I don't really care. This is some plexiglass from the back of a big screen TV that was just sitting around. These bolts are a little undersized. I should be putting a kind of, well anyways, they can torque a little bit. So I need to put um, larger bolts. So I'm going to ream this out and tap it bigger. Or just ream it out and put a bolt. I don't really care. Um, and the main torque is going from here to this bracket up here. I took a Sawzall and cut off the top fins uh, just because I wanted to fit more battery. Um, that's really it. Uh, old radiator hose right here, which I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to make uh, an enclosure for this. Probably just end up strapping it. I don't really care. Once again, I'm just out to have fun. I'm not trying to win any beauty, uh, um, whatever you call it, beauty pageants. Let's uh, cut my um, bolt. Huh. So here's a three shul uh, controller. This is one of the beta prototypes. I had a, went ahead and got uh, PVC shrink wrap on it um, because I'm gonna maybe be hitting some water on here. So now it's fully encapsulated. Um, that's literally just held on with some brackets from the top I made. So 124 volts, uh, 600 battery amps, 1,000 phase amps. So here's phase amps, three to the motor, 600 amps. If I want to, this will do it. Uh, but once again, this motor can't ever ask for that. It's impossible. Unless I put like a 10 tooth on here and try to go 130 miles an hour. Uh, on this setup prior to going 28 series, when I was going 20 series, 
I was able to go 74 miles an hour with a really small rear sprocket. Um, that was a 20 series. So it was just just on the freeway, 75. It didn't care. Felt fine. Surely the motor was heating up. But now that I'm 28 series with field weakening, and if I go to that smaller sprocket, I'm going to go for 100 miles an hour on this. I think it's completely possible. Now sustained, my drag coefficient is out of the roof for this motor. This motor will probably boil if I try to go more than four miles at like 95 plus. But I'm going to go for it. So wish me luck. Here's a dirty workshop right now. This is where I was the past few hours. And be, let's get you a photo of the top. All right, so all I did was just bolt on a piece of aluminum, teed it in right here. That way I can slide the controller out. And that just put a stabilizing bar. Don't laugh, but literally just another bar just sitting on this plexiglass right here. So the controller doesn't move around. It's solid. I feel comfortable crashing this to the point where I bend these. Uh, this will stay in there. So took about 25 minutes to mount. Um, the wiring harness I haven't finished up. I'm gonna add, this thing has 12 volt and five volts. So I'm gonna put some five volt uh, brake light things on there, hooked up to a hydraulic switch, what I already have. And then I'm gonna run 12 volts from probably one of these headlights right here because they're pretty badass. Yeah, I'm probably gonna run some of these headlights since they're under two amps. And the three shoal has a buck converter built in, I think good for like three or four amps at 12 volts. So I'll pretty get some pretty good lumens on here. I'm just literally gonna mount one of those headlights up here. Right now, just for hooligan stuff on the streets, I've just been using these $4 keychain things that are stupid bright. Um, so that's, turn off. That's pretty much it. Uh, got a little glass uh, LCD screen I haven't hooked up. I need to just do a switch to see it or not. Um, I'm going to be putting a permanent uh, CAN bus uh, screen up here um, when that comes out. Otherwise, it's just a phone. I've got the meter, M-E-T-R application, so I can see live data. So if I want to know at this part of the hill climb how many phase amps I was using, and it's logged 100 times a second, how many phase amps, how many battery amps, if I want to know my speed of my wheel, if I want to know anything, my temperature, my speed control, my temperature, my motor, I got it all there. That's what you get with a VESC. You can get that with like Kelly and Votol and Fairchild, but their shit just, ugh, setup sucks. With VESC, you get instant throttle. If you want, instant throttle. If you want a delayed grandma throttle, cool. If you want to push a button, you can turn it to grandma profile, which it limits the speed to 12 miles an hour, 100 watts. 200 watts, something like that. So that's something really cool about VESC. Um, so I'm gonna be pushing a lot of uh, VESC stuff uh, down your guys' throats um, because you know what? Finally a point where people are asking for them and manufacturers are making them. So you have uh, Three Shoal, you have uh, Trampa, you have Tronic, you have um, Maker X, you have, uh, who else do you have? For high voltages at least so above 84 volts this is where it gets fun you can start cranking up these motors to the point where they're like yeah sure let's go let's go a little bit faster might as well so something typical like this is getting a vesk in it uh which means we can run up to 20 series on this cute little motor right here it goes way too fast this has a vesk on it um that has a vesk on it. This does not have a vesk. Uh, the Ryan right here, this has two vesks. They go right here, right there. And same thing, you can adjust everything you want. Uh, I don't have the cold saw hooked up. This is sometimes quicker. Uh, just simple shop tools can get it done. So for example, here's some uh, Molly cells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in parallel. Four, eight, 12, et cetera, et cetera. 50 volts right here. Well, 40, 40 something volts. Um, double stacked, 84 volts. We do a lot of uh, water cutting. So these are the remnants of that. When we're cutting them out just to make copper, Then it goes to a sunstone welder. And we're able to make a bunch of little shapes to make special battery packs, current bus bars and stuff. 
Uh, the only bummer about uh, water jet that is, is it leaves a little kerf burr. Any thin material does this. So you gotta stack a bunch together and sandwich with a ply. Uh, as soon as we move to our bigger space, we're gonna, gonna be getting a fiber laser so it cuts beautifully. Um, technically, technically you can send it out to China. You just give them a, a CAD file and just say, hey, cut the shit for me and I can get them that way. But this works for now. These are the beautiful molly cells. Each one of these is good for 40 amps, just peak, 20 continuous. So 40 times 10, I have 13 in parallel, is 400 amps plus 3. That's 500 amps worth of power that that motor will never use. So some will say, oh, well, when you pack the cells too tightly together, they're going to get uh, too warm in the center. And yeah, that's true, but I'm only pulling like 8, 10 amps from the cells while riding. Uh, 15, 20 when I'm just going full throttle. Uh, so maybe at a motocross track after six, seven minutes of hard time, I'll see. But guess what? In between my stack layers that I have, this is a different thing uh, we're building. Um, we have a thermistor in the center so I can monitor those temperatures. And the VESC, I have an AB switch I can switch from, <coughs> excuse me, I can switch from uh, motor to battery temperature so it can limit based on that. Um, you can technically do one motor, one battery, but it gets kind of weird. It's meant for dual motor setups. Next thing we're going to throw a vest in is this. Look, Sondors, you're cool and all, but this thing is slow as a fucking dog. Um, this hub motor probably push out two, three times the power than what they programmed it to do. So inside of this measly, what looks like a large cable, um, you're limited by this... this ugly little speed control under here. So I'm gonna throw the same speed control that's in this baby over here, in here, and may keep it on 84, or build a battery pack for a little bit more voltage, um, so we can go a little bit faster. But I'm thinking based on the uh, ERPM of this motor with 84 volts and phase weakening, I just want it to go faster, because the thing still does almost 80 miles an hour. Uh, I drove it across the Bay Bridge. Uh, here in San Francisco from Oakland to San Francisco, uh, sorry, Berkeley to uh, San Francisco here. And I use half the charge going 75 miles an hour. So that thing has same size battery pack as basically this little electric unicycle. It's 4,000 watt hours. It's, it's kind of pathetic. So uh, look for the next video. That's the next project when I have time. That's what we bought this for. Just kind of like clickbait to like all the little fanboys out there go, oh, the Sondors is so amazing. And then we'll actually build a Sondors how it should have been built, which is fast because it's slow as a dog. Like the Onyxes we uh, sell and distribute, these things will out pull that all day long. And these only have a little hub motor. So it's all in the software here. Anyhow, uh, Kevin Grell here. Um, oh, by the way, the company is Alien Rides. Uh, that's what I work for. Um, alien raids. Boom. Uh, CT and the CTO over here. Uh, we get to make cool shit. Still, these are my favorite right here. If you haven't tried them, this, don't tell the cops, but go all the time on the freeway on this. This cruises at 52, 53 miles an hour. And is a monster. Uh, probably like 10, 12,000 watts peak. Realistically, like 7, 8,000 watts peak, but you can see a surge if you look at the logs on these. Sometimes they go well above 10K. But these little guys are incredible. And when you're done, you just walk into the restaurant after booking it way faster than any car in any city. And you set it down, walk away, go get a beer. Be safe.